everyone. Welcome back to another week of The Guest Life. So breakup is in full swing now. Just as of this morning, I ended up looking out the window this afternoon and there's black patches all over the ice. Now, that's not meaning rotten ice. That's just meaning that the snow is melting. And now that the snow is melting and the ice is exposed, it's going to be its turn to melt next. The ice is probably good for a little while yet. None of it is really melted yet, I don't think. But once it starts getting sloppy, I get a little bit nervous out here with the kids. Usually what the process is, is you'll start seeing these kind of black slushy spots and then the uh, spider holes will open up which are just random kind of breathe holes around the ice and then all the water will drain through those and it'll be bare ice then for a while usually that's when people come out in quads that's when John and his brother will do his, their last brother weekend I'm assuming and then from there the ice goes pretty fast just since yesterday a lot of bare land is starting to show in the yard now I'm of course a little bummed out that we're moving back to town for a little while soon but the five or six-ish weeks go by pretty darn fast and I was mentioning to one of my subscribers last week it kind of ups the appreciation for our livelihood out here because I end up really missing it when I'm in town for those few weeks. Before we know it we'll be back out here and I'll be taking you guys out on the boat. Hi old husky. We just got Shelby some new glucosamine medicine. Because her arthritis was bugging her. Oh yes, and everybody loves you too. She's feeling a lot better. Aren't you, Shelby? Oh my goodness, you're such a tension hog. Believe it or not, my family is going through yet another bug this flu season. I swear to God, we have been sick since we've come back from the Dominican. With a family of six, the thing that's kind of crummy is if one guy gets sick by time, it works its way through the whole entire family. Then another bug hits the first guy and then it works its way through the whole entire family. So I'm almost getting used to it by now. If you can see, I've got a duvet, my poor feather duvet behind me. It's gotten a few washings over these past couple of months. I've got the generator running right now, but I had wanted to mention we went for a good three week stint without running the generator, which is completely unheard of, especially in the winter season. So that was really exciting for John and I. It was kind of our first test of having the three new solar panels and the three batteries all working in combination because we got them in late fall. So we didn't really have a good test out of them when we were getting good sun. And once spring hits, the sun starts getting stronger. So yeah, even on these gloomy days like today, it would have been perfectly fine, but I've been doing laundry since the break of on so that's why I'm having to bump them up because I ran out of water I thought something was wrong with my pump because I just pumped water yesterday and I was like oh no no my pump is going just going surging and making all these crazy noises I go upstairs to go investigate I used up all the water doing laundry and bathing and showering so that's okay getting water is super easy now I can only imagine how awesome the solar is gonna run this summer also around fall time last year we ended up taking down this big birch and it was covering this whole area it shaded the deck which was really nice and it's kind of an iconic tree of the cabin and we miss it but it was taking easily i don't know a good four or five hours away of sunlight a day so it had to go john was mentioning maybe getting one more panel and one more battery and i bet you anything we'll never have to turn our inverter off and the battery system will be good even for a couple cloudy days in a row to put it into perspective for some of you that are interested in solar power those three weeks that i didn't bump up the batteries with the generator i was using as much power as i wanted to like i'm doing laundry pumping water watching TV, we got the Starlink on, vacuuming, I'm doing anything that I want. I'm not being conservative with the power at all and we didn't need to bump it up. So it's pretty amazing. I've got the last load of sicky laundry popped in and before I go make beds, I thought I'd do kind of a little personal segment to add to this video. I thought it was kind of fitting seeing as this is the farewell for the winter season. We moved out here last Christmas. So it's been about a year and a half-ish. So I'd consider our family a pretty average North American middle-class family. I was working about 50-ish hours a week. John was, well, still is working 50-ish hours a week. The kids were going to school. You have two dogs, a mortgage, a decent house with four bedrooms, a nice big yard. And our weeks were just spent working. Kids are going to school. And then on the weekends, sometimes we'd be relaxing, but mostly we were adventuring. So either we're going out to the cabin or camping or off-roading, dirt biking, quadding, jet boating, boating. Oh, Husky needs to come in. I'll be right back. Now she's probably going to want to go back out in a couple seconds, but I'm sure I have a minute or two. Now, what was the biggest hurdle I guess most would consider is the financial aspect of moving out here because we thought, 
okay, we could probably go down to one income family, but a few things are going to have to change. And the townhouse, instead of completely getting rid of it, we've rented out a portion of that. So that kind of supplements my income. It's not anywhere close to what I was making, but it was enough. When we first made this decision, we kind of laid out a piece of paper and we're like, what do we need in a month? So we need our utilities at the townhouse, groceries, the random bills of life like the Netflixes and the cell phones and the mortgage. So as long as we can afford all of those things and also we'd like to make sure there's just a few hundred dollars left over in case there's a birthday or Christmas or throw that into savings because the washing machine goes or life comes at you, right? And once we realized that our income was able to do that, then we just kind of pulled the plug and went for it. Now I'd like to say I was transitioning to this point in life well before it happened i kind of got on the minimalism train i guess i didn't even know it was a thing at the time but i was just slowly starting to downsize all the stuff in my house that was making me feel really cluttered and crowded i was just getting rid of truck box fulls at a time and i realized how good it felt it was kind of a switch of a headspace of being happy with not so great stuff instead of fighting for the best of the best i was realizing wow when we have kind of an old rust bucket truck we don't care if the kids get in there with muddy boots we don't care if we're cleaning it all the time we just want to use it to go have fun i'm not going ah, as the willows are scratching on it i've been noticing as the years go on and the more that i get rid of things and the more that i stop having an attachment to materialistic things the happier and happier i get i think as time goes on and we get more and more into this type of lifestyle we realize how little money we do need to make memories and have fun because that's what it's all about but i'll stop blabbing i'm losing Using my natural light and I've probably bored half of you to death but I'm gonna go make those beds continue on with my chores for evening put some kids to sleep and we'll see what else I'll throw on this video looking a little extra eerie out there this morning with the fog got even more wet last night and that's how it looks in the evening the first time we're witnessing the sunset bouncing off the water even though it's still winter well, we'll have to bring the groceries up by hand tonight cheese grater up this rock with the snowmobiles that's not happening It's looking like a little river this morning with a bit of wind. I'm just working away at our last chore day of the winter season. When I move back to town, another one of my frugal ways of living is I have $10 a month internet at the townhouse. You could only imagine how great that is. I won't really be able to upload anything. Maybe if I go to grandma's I can, but you guys might not be seeing me for a few weeks. Maybe you will but I'll definitely keep you guys up to date as much as I possibly can. body doesn't even know what's going on right now it says it's plus 21 on the deck it's just absolutely gorgeous outside i'm like hot <laughs> russell's pounding his chest his springtime call jade went and got the trampoline out we'll see how far she gets on that it almost looks like the sky is on fire tonight Here comes dad home after work. 
from a distance and we could start seeing him out the window it almost looked like he was in the boat just reminded me of summer See a tiny little skiff of ice starting to form on the top. Cool down just enough. Three excited girls for dad to come home. Two very chatty ones. Be nice to Pinto. Some desperate kids getting their first trampoline of the season and even though it's cold out. It makes it feel like summer. We sure are looking out on the weather this weekend. Another really warm day. What's it saying on the deck? Creeping past 10 degrees. The kids have already been doing some artwork today. And they're having fun on the trampoline. <laughs> and I, I get the lucky chore of going around picking up all the little tidbits of garbage that have accumulated over the winter. But I shouldn't act like I'm not impressed. I actually kind of like it. Just putz around, pick up little pieces of garbage. Kids play around me, Marley's sleeping. It's a good day. Enjoying one last canoe ride for the season. Hi, Russell. Just loving the sun and the heat today. I think it's reading like 30 degrees Celsius on the deck or something, which is absolutely crazy. I'm busy raking. The novelty of yard work is in full swing because I've missed it all winter. Marley's busy making mud pies behind me. Getting good and soaking wet. I'm gonna have to get her clothes a good sun dry and a shake off and she can wear them again tomorrow when she makes mud pies. I've got a little bit of raking done. I don't know if I'm the only one out there, but I love raking. It's super satisfying. I make my piles. I'm seeing nice clean paths coming behind me, but the dealing with the piles isn't my favorite thing, but maybe a magical fairy that loves me will deal with them for me this year. So I think I'm gonna put the phone down and keep putzing around on my chores. And as I had mentioned before, I'm headed back to town with not the greatest of internet. So I'm gonna upload this video here while I have Starlink. And then from now in the next five, six-ish weeks, it might be like two, three minute long videos because that's probably the only thing my internet's gonna be able to handle. But I will see you when I see you. Take care of yourself and have a good one. Bye.